Hey, I'm Al McGee with Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Arctic. Hey, this is a new film stars Mads Mikkelsen. And there's another young lady in this, and these are the only two actors in this film. You know, as I start watching Arctic, I say to myself, could this be me? Would I ever get stranded in the Arctic and then have to learn how to survive with very little nothing? Well, it won't happen to me because I'm not going that way. I might have to survive in the Caribbean or someplace like that. But here you see Overguard played by Mickelson. And the only way we learn his name because it's on his jacket, but is that his real name? That's another question for this film because there are a few questions in this film that made me want to question the film. And you see him in the beginning. He has a little, uh, let's say, routine on how to survive, how to stay alive each day because he crashed in the Arctic. You know, he had a one engine plane and which he made shelter out of that. He uh, knows how to get some food, you know, fishing. And, you know, he got an SOS, huge, that he dug out. Also has a some type of radio, hand crank radio, where hopefully he'll get a signal to someone to find him. And also, I didn't learn how long he's been there until I looked at some numbers. He used Roman numerals to uh, describe how many days he's been there, you know, and some notes that he had. So I kind of added up a little bit. He's been there for a while. He really has been. But then all of a sudden, things change. There's a helicopter that picked up his signal, tried to rescue him, but they crash, and it was a pilot and a young lady in there. The pilot dies. He gets the young lady out, but she's hurt. She's like she's in a coma or something like that. And he also takes their food or, and other supplies from the helicopter, you know, to use for both of them. He knew she would not survive, so he decided to take her, you know, in a little sleigh, lay her down and things like that, and walk to a station that's only a few days away. Now think about this. He's been there for a month or two, but he knew there was a station or something like that there, only a few days away if he'd gone you know, before the helicopter crash and kill someone else. And maybe he could have saved himself. That's another question I have for this film. And I said, why didn't he do that just for himself? Pack up a few things and walk and go to where he had to go. Now, there's very little dialogue in this film, which I thought was very good. But what kept you interested in this film is the acting by Milkerson. He did some great acting in his film where you were very entertained and you really paid attention to him. And also, the cinematography too showed it was very cold and desolate. Ooh, it really made me cold when I watched this and also made me feel that this is a place I don't want to be alone. And he really gave a very good gripping performance in this film. Now, I feel that the director, Joe Pena, he did a great job in understanding this and also setting up the cameras and the details of this. But again, I still had too many questions, you know, about this film. For example, even though he set everything up, where did he use the bathroom? Oh, that goes my adult mind. That goes my reality mind. And how did he use it? Ah, but let's forget about that. Let's not think about that. But anyway, Arctic is a very good film to watch, but you got to have a lot of patience with this film. But the acting, when you see it, you're going to be amazed about that. But because of the questions that I had and some other things too, I'm only going to give this film two and a half palm trees out of four. <laughs> That's I mean it's, it's a little bit better than normal, but still some questions in it. Only two and a half palm trees for Arctic. Hey, I'm Al McGee. I'm a film critic. Thank you for watching my review. I really appreciate it. You are watching YETicket.com.
with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com, YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right.